Sergio Mendez was with us, and that was fun. And right now we're going to talk about, uh, well, the primetime soaps that are on. You know, everyone ends with a cliffhanger. And what is it going to be in the case of Falcon Crest? Well, an unnamed character was killed, lowered into a grave as the season came to a close. And we sure hope it wasn't our next guest, although Robert Foxworth is appropriately dressed for it. <laughs> Uh, why are you dressed up like that, anyway? Well, of course, visiting you and uh, having this whole conversation, I thought it would be an appropriate thing to wear. That is a snappy outfit. <laughs> I'm lying, actually. But <laughs> why, why is it? Well, there's this annual thing, the CBS affiliates uh, uh, meet in Los Angeles annually and are wooed and wined and dined by the network, and uh, uh -huh. they invite uh, uh, the people from the series to come on. And, and you have to smile and sign autographs mm -hmm. and get pictures taken and so they can take them back home. That's right, hang them in their office walls or their bathroom walls, depending. Yeah, you know, everybody from the stations like Rochester, New York, right? <laughs> Nobody here is from Rochester, I see. But, okay, you, they lowered somebody into the grave. Yes, yes. And we, we're not going to know who until next season, that unless you want to tell us. Well, I'd love to be able to, but I don't think I would... Uh I don't think it'd be really the right thing for me to do. No, so there'll be no more CBS affiliate <laughs> parties for you. <laughs> right. Back goes the tux. In fact, I'm not really positive. No one has told me exactly who it is. There are a couple of, uh, a few uh, possibilities, but uh, I really don't know. Either. That is so strange. How they, I mean, all the shows do that. They don't even tell the actors. No. Uh, yeah. They know what uh, grabs the audiences. I sure. guess. Sure. So. They want to keep every, everything, everybody, uh, kind of wondering even even the people on the show now you have done several films mm -hmm. but you haven't done any since falcon crest no no i haven't it's been very quiet yeah <laughs> since because of the show uh I, either for a couple of reasons because of the show either because they're watching people are watching me and saying huh or um, they just figure i don't have the time to do uh, mm. uh, a feature yeah but you'd like to do a comedy, wouldn't you? I'd love to do a comedy. Have you ever done one? Well, I do it daily uh, when we're filming Falcon Crest, but that part never gets out on the air. Uh, but people on the set keep saying to me, what are you doing this for? You should be a, you know, doing comedies. Someday it'll happen. Yeah. You know, shock everyone. Do you ever think of doing any uh, stand-up comedy? Anymore? Oh, no, I wouldn't be any good at that. You've got to be a certain kind of mm. mad person to be able to do that, pull it off. That would be very scary to do. Yeah. Ooh. What are some of the changes that you do know of for next season? Well, uh, we have a couple of new characters. Um, Cliff Robertson is joining our company. Oh, that's something. And um, someone else, and I don't know who this other person is yet, uh, but in the script, she is British, so I don't know uh, who it will be. But you've got Cliff Robertson, Jane Wyman, Lana Turner, some some big major major film stars on, on a nighttime soap opera. Mm -hmm. now. And you work a lot with Jane Wyman. Yes. Yeah, yeah. what does she like to work on? Oh, she's terrific. She's a An Academy Award winning actress. Uh, that doesn't... Uh, come into play. I mean, I don't, um, I can't imagine how it would. She's a, a thorough professional and uh, actually a, quite a humorous lady and we have a good time. Yeah. And we get our work done. You know, we're very, we have a very good company as a matter of fact all together. Now you have done some filming in the Napa Valley in the wine oh, yes. country. Mm -hmm. Will you be doing some again this year? Yes. In fact, we're going up there, uh, I believe, about June 10th and should be there about six weeks. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I you've, love become, it you've become kind of a wine connoisseur, haven't you, since you've been there? Well, let's put it this way. Now I use a corkscrew, and I used to screw the caps off, you know, and uh, <laughs> uh, that's about... Uh, no, I'm kidding, actually. I, I've begun to appreciate wine in a way that I hadn't before. Uh, and being in the valley, it's hard, uh, you know, being in the valley during the time we're there, it's hard not to get a little more familiar with uh, what goes on with wines. Yeah, a lot of free samples. Oh, yeah, a lot of that. A lot of it. <laughs> after, every, after every shoot, huh? <laughs> Somebody said you're writing a book about uh, well, what California wine? What I'm trying to put together is sort of a, a layman's guide. Uh, there's been so much mystique built up, I think, by the wine industry itself, and I'd like to do a little book for the layman on California wines. One of your other cast members, uh, Mr. Lamas, just recently got married in real life. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that's going to change his fans' oh, view of things. I don't know. It might bring him new fans. 
Who yeah. knows? <laughs> now, you play a good guy on the show. Yeah, yeah. Why is it on all the shows the bad guys are the ones that get the attention? I don't know. I suppose uh, people find something in their devilish little hearts of hearts, that, heart of hearts that uh, they identify with. You know, things that they're not quite able to get away with in their real life, and they find that they're, you know, yeah. that's their experience or the, what they would like to experience. Like you would like to do a comedy. Yeah. 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 Or play a bad guy. Well, I've done that quite a bit in the past. So yeah. it's nice playing a good guy for a change. Now, when you're not working, are you working on your your country house? Did you, yeah. yeah. Are you building? Doesn't that sound wonderful? Country house. Country house. You know, it's, it's not house really a country, country house. But mm -hmm. Yes, I work on that. Uh, that's sort of my therapy. And your uh, wine cellar. My wine cellar. <laughs> my, my wine cellar floods every year. <laughs> so <laughs> we don't even discuss that. Well, we know you got to run and. Uh, Wine and dine and get your pictures taken with the uh, whatever yes. the, the affiliates. Yeah. Take care of the affiliates. Thank you, Robert. Thank, Thank you, Bill. You Appreciate it. We'll see Thanks you again soon. Tyne Daly from Cagney and Lacey when we come back.